Hey guys, so it is a weigh-in. It is my second week weigh-in. Um, or my first weigh-in on plan or whatever. I don't know how. We're going to do it. It's the second weigh-in. So, um, I weighed in yesterday. Well, actually this was Monday. So I weighed in Saturday and I was 191, which means I have lost 1.8 pounds. Woohoo! Okay. So, Let's talk about the week. Um, this is my water chart. And if you're in the Facebook group, I posted it today. And if you're not, that's fine. But here it is. You're going to notice that 1 through 11 is all checked off. I've been doing that by getting up in the morning, taking four bottles of water, numbering them 1 to 4, and just getting them done. Um, it's been working and it's actually my oldest daughter who's 12 has trouble coming out and like remembering to drink water so she's been doing the same thing it's been working for her it's working um for now we are recycling the bottles of water the bottles it's obviously not the best plan but it's what's working right this moment and we're going to go forward with that and uh, i think it's also a good thing because i am very sensitive to smells and tastes and lately, our water has been ridiculously chlorinated. And they say it's still safe to drink, but it smells like chlorine to me. So, that's happening. Anyway. Anyway. So, I have that going on. Um, my, my week goals this week are going to be the same. My workouts last week sucked so bad. They happened, but they were lame out. And that is because of my leg, and that is because of pain. Um, I also did something really stupid, and I kind of screwed myself into having to work out three days in a row because I didn't do it earlier in the week. I need to, to fix that behavior. I have to get up and do something. Um, in my mind, I tell myself, well, it sucks right now. Like, what if I just do it tomorrow, but I can do a good workout? But the truth is, they're lame. So I might as well just get the lame ones done whenever I can. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I do want to keep on with the same goals, staying under calories, food blogging, um, you know, tracking, drinking my water, of course. I also want to do my makeup uh -huh. and wash my face every time I do my makeup. Because, so, like, I know that this is not necessarily good, but I stick to my makeup. I don't do, first of all, I don't do full makeup. Like, when I say do my makeup, it means lipstick, eyeliner, mascara. That's what I do and call makeup. Sometimes I put powder on, sometimes I don't. Um, but, because if I do, like, base and, like, a whole actual face of makeup, I wash that off because it, it makes me feel like I can't breathe all day. But, like, I don't wash my eye makeup off every night. And I don't, like, I know I need to do that, so I want to get better at it. So that's my goal is to do my makeup and wash it off at the end of the day five days this week. So my week goes from Sunday to um, Saturday and I did my makeup yesterday and washed it off. Yay! Okay. So that's, that's my new goal. Um, you will notice missing from my vlogs last couple of days, and today are my morning juices. I ran out of pineapple juice, I have to get more, and here's the thing. I don't know if it was all in my head or not, but I would start my day with the juice, and I wouldn't be hungry, and I wouldn't feel snacky. I ran out of the juice the same day I got ravishingly hungry. But then the next day I started my period, or that night I started my period. So, I have had less energy and been more hungry for the last three days without the juices, but I've also been on my period. So I feel like I can't really make that decision and call it because of the juice, obviously. But, it's like, I don't know, some scientists had this theory of superstition in pigeons and basically it was like if you take the pigeons and you put them in a box and you give them a treat for no reason like it's not attached to behavior it's every 30 minutes let's just say food comes in 
whatever the pigeon was doing right before the food came in, they would think, oh, that behavior gets the food. So if they turned in a circle and the food came in, they would turn in a circle and turn in a circle and turn in a circle until the food came in again. But really, it was on a timer. But the pigeon truly believed that because they were turning in a circle, they had created that situation and made it happen. And I think sometimes I am totally like that pigeon. Like, completely random events that have nothing to do with each other. In my brain, I associate them. And so in my mind, I'm like, oh, see my juice. But I know that it could be a lot of different things. So that's the crazy I'm dealing with right now. Um, I do need to work on better snacks because while I would love to say, oh, I'm just going to stick to no snacks at all, I have been snappy lately. And, like, I want cookies and I want sweet stuff and I want garbage, kind of. So I need to find something that makes me feel satisfied when I'm craving garbage but doesn't suck completely and you know cause me to derail myself that's what I'm working on right now I'm like I know apples I know boiled eggs I know all the healthy snacks and I love them but I'm looking for suggestions for the healthier alternatives to the garbage that you sometimes crave especially around your moon time just saying. I'm, I'm open. I'm open to any suggestions. Because at this point, I'm desperate. So, my, oh, the perfect moon time snack for me is a zero bar. But that is sugar and so bad and it will cause me to binge. So I have to stay away from it. But that is what I desperately want. That, but you know, yesterday I wanted Skittles, which is a new craving, and I don't know, I think I could probably eat Skittles and not go crazy, but anyway, trying to avoid straight up stuff like that, just trying to find something healthier to deal with that situation, so, that's where I'm at, um, I burned my hand, this is what, this video is a day late, because I burned my hand so badly, and actually, I don't know if you, you can't really see it, this camera's not the best, but actually, um, years and years and years ago, my sister had a, a suffered a pretty bad burn, and, um, she was given something called, like, silver cyanodiazidine or something like that, and then, a couple years back, my wife burned her hand, and she burned it pretty severely, and I was like, you don't understand, um, she had burned like all of these fingers, and um, she was holding a box, of, a box of matches, and striking it to light a grill, right, and the box was open about this much on the front end, so she struck the match, and then she put the match in, and she's like, paying attention with this hand to the grill and a little piece like a, of the flint had gone in and it lit those matches so like one of those big like 150 200 box of matches they probably more than that more more probably more like 500 matches in those big boxes but anyway um they lit and that force of all of them lighting came out the back end and just like blow torched her hand. It was horrible. And uh, I was like, you don't understand. If you don't wrap your fingers individually, if you just leave them wrapped together, you're going to, your skin's going to heal like that. It was a horrible thing. And, and I was like, get the stuff. Go to the doctor. And she went to the doctor and they gave her the stuff. And within days, it was so much better. And we use it like for everything um, burn related. It really just pulls the heat and the burn out. So yesterday, for hours, I had to hold ice because every time it started to warm up, it would just ache from the bone. Because somebody put a wet um, pot holder on the hook. So I was taking a pan out the oven. I grabbed it. I didn't realize that the fingers were wet. But when I grabbed the pan, it just steamed all the water and just like turned it to steam and burned straight through. So I had to hold ice yesterday 
and then cover it in the silverfish zava 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 zoom. And uh, I do have a little bit of like a burn, you can still see, but it would have been so much worse. So that's why this is weak, because it was like after that, I just was like, I felt like I was going to pass out, throw up, and faint. So I guess that's what passing out is. You know what I mean. Like, I was just like, this is not okay. And I just kind of like quit for the day. Quit. So, that's what's going on. We are celebrating a loss and looking for another one. Um, it's, it's, it's going. I, it's going. It's all I can say for now. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been really enjoying like talking to you guys and interacting with you guys. And I will talk to you soon.